Hi, so I recently got my all-in-one cable, I've got it all soldered up and it's connected to the radio now. This video is going to be how I have it set up and it will be the way I recommend it is used with the dock software. So first of all, let's start up the application. You can see there it, it is connecting to my radio and I am connected through the AIOC, which is on mine com 7 but it can be different for yours you just have to hunt around and find out which com port it actually is and you, if you can just go through them here until everything lights up it's the easiest way of doing it okay so in the settings you want to turn this pass if this pass through is on turn it off right we don't want this on we're going to do things with windows settings not with with the pass through so what you want to do now is open your control panel. Now I have a link to this right here on my start menu, but you probably won't. So what you can do, right click the start button and go to search. And what you want to just check, there's no porn or anything in here. No. Okay. So type control panel in the search. You can see there it is. And this will open your control panel. Now mine's opened in this window. But yours will probably look like this. So if it looks like this, where it says view by here, go to small icons and then you'll get this view. And what you want to do is find sound, which is here. Click on that and it will open your sound settings like this. So go into recording and you're going to need to find a few things in here. So you're going to need two devices you're going to need a playback device this is what you want to listen to the radio on and you're also going to need a microphone that you're going to talk into the radio with now i would recommend with the microphone that you have a dedicated microphone for this so something that you only use for the radio i wouldn't recommend uh, using something that you use for other things like skype or zoom yeah, get a separate one. They're not very expensive and just use that exclusively with the dock. Now, the one I'm using here is going to be this desktop microphone. And you can see as I'm talking, the level's going up and this is pretty much perfect. You don't want it topping out too much, but you want a nice level there. And this is pretty much perfect. Now, what you can do if you go into properties and go into levels, you can usually adjust this. You, you might also have a boost. I haven't, but you sometimes have a boost here, which will give you more volume. But you can just play around with this um, slider here until you get the levels looking pretty much like this. Okay. So once you've found the microphone that you're going to be using, right click on it and go to properties. Then click on listen. OK, now you can see where it says playback through this device, right? Open this drop down and find the AIOC. And you can see it's there, speakers, AIOC cable. Select that and then click listen to this device. Apply and OK. And now what you have actually done is you've connected your microphone to the radio. So the next thing you need to do is to find the actual AIOC device in this list. You can see it, mine is here. It says microphone AIO, AIOC audio. So again, right click on this, go to properties, go to listen. Okay. And this time, play back through this device. What you want to select here is whatever device you want to listen to the radio on. So this could be your computer speakers, your monitor speakers or a headset. If you want to have a dedicated headset or a pair of headphones, up to you. But select that device here. Whatever you do, do not select default playback device or speakers AIOC audio. Because if you do that, you may end up with a feedback situation and that would likely destroy the AIOC. So whatever you do, don't do that. So in my case, I'm selecting speakers, real tech audio. This is what I would normally hear things coming out of the computer on. 
right so that's what i'm going to do there i'm going to click listen to this device click apply click ok and that's it it is now set up so if i open the squelch here you should be able to hear yep now what i'm going to do i'm going to go into xvfo i'm going to turn the power all the way down i'm going to turn on my bayafang And I'm going to tune this to 433. And this will put out a little bit of power on the lowest setting, but it's so low it won't get out of this building. So I should I won't be transmitting anywhere. So here we are. And I'm probably going to get feedback here, but it's unavoidable. So I'm going to unlock my TX now, make sure I'm in FM mode, and I'm going to click PTT. Hello? Yo, whoa. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. But you can hear there that I'm definitely putting audio into the radio, and that is being transmitted, and it is being received on this Bayafang, even though there is uh, feedback because of my setup here. But yeah, that is working. And that is the way I would recommend you set everything up. And then it's just a question of when you want to transmit, press space, and that's it. I think that's a pretty neat setup right there. So there we go. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.